YouTube. Happy um, Catter Day to all of you. Tigger would like to say hi to the world who loves her. Yes, you're very cute. <laughs> anyway, um, cute kitty aside, today I wanted to do a spring cleaning um, slash makeup 2013 slash project pan video. And oh my god, she's dry. It's cat. Um, and yeah, basically, so uh, Make Out 2013 and Project Pan, those are both trends that I absolutely think are awesome that are going around YouTube. I think they are, they're the coolest thing that I've seen happen, and I love that the whole Make Out 2013 thing was started by a beauty blogger who has one of those giant, giant collections that so many girls look up to. So I think it's really awesome that Pink So Foxy did that, and I wanted to thank, um... I love Taboo for um, explaining to me what the whole thing was and for turning me on to Pink So Foxy's channel. I've just been going on a marathon. Um, so let's get started. So first, spring cleaning. This is everything that I've cleaned out from my collection that fits in this bag. You guys have seen my collection. It's not totally, it's not totally out of control. Um, it's not like super super big. Like it doesn't cover my whole room or anything. Um, so it makes and I didn't have like a ton of samples or anything, so it makes probably makes sense that I only filled up you know a bag like about that. Um, and I didn't for me I didn't want this to be like a shameful thing like oh my god look at all of the things that I collected I feel so guilty about it. For me this is a lot more about um, cleaning out things that I do that throw like throwing out giving away things that I just don't use and only having things in my collection that I love and I use um, or that I will use. Um, and so for me this is much more about, um, not the size of my collection, but, um, my wallet. Um, I don't want to be spending, I feel like as soon as I get my paycheck I'm, like, spending all of it really, really quickly, and I'd like to be able to actually, like, put some stuff in my savings, um, and so, and not just burn through my money just because it's there, like, and it's just something I'm working on in general, um, and... Yeah, so anyway, um, things I'm giving away to other friends, I'm giving away the BH Day and Night palette. I know, this is, I just filmed a video on this quite recently, and to be honest, like, it was probably a mistake purchase. It was really impulsive, and I really only wanted it for that turquoise color, which, oh my god, looking at it, I'm like, it's still beautiful. But I'm pretty sure, I have colors that dupe that, though, in my Glamour Doll Eyes Mineral Shadow Collection, so I really didn't necessarily need that, and I know other people who would get way more use of that. I'm also, sadly, giving away my Urban Decay Vegan Palette. This was the first palette that I got from Urban Decay, and it's totally cute, but I never use it. Um... Two of the colors are in my Naked palette, um, and the other colors are just not, I mean, I just don't reach for this, like, ever. Um, so I figured, again, someone else will have a better time with this. The packaging is adorable, and I love that it was vegan. Um, but yeah, something else I'm giving away to friends, um, or just throwing away because I've used it, is the Benefit Confessions of a Concealaholic palette. I'm not into Benefit Concealers, like at all, really. Like, I think the one thing that I'm kind of like is the erase paste. Um, but the one I got in this was number t was medium or number two, so it's too dark for me unless it's the summer. So that's the only thing from this that I'm keeping because it's really good for if I'm getting really tan if I'm outside a lot. So I want to keep that just in case. Um, but yeah, I'm getting rid of this because I was never using it and it was just taking up space in my drawer. Um, other interesting things I'm giving out, I'm, um, I'm getting rid of this, uh, NYX Cream Blush in, Ru in Rouge, because it is just, like, it is completely unwearable on my skin. Like, I will just swatch it for you. Like, I mean, like, there is no way any white girl on the planet could make that not look clownish. Like, unless you're going for a clown look, it's fine. But, yeah, so hopefully I can either find a friend to take this off my hands or I might throw it away just because, again, I've used it. But, yeah, bad idea. Um, other things in here, I have various drugstore eyeliners. Um, I have a couple um, the All Natural Face Liquid Liners. Um, oh, God, I got blush on it. Oh, well, that decorated the bottle. Um, I'm getting rid of the... Um, 
Vegan Gel Eyeliners in Screaming Purple and Peacock Green. I'm really sad because these are beautiful colors, but I never really use them and they dried out. And to be honest, the only colors that I find, that I found so far that I really like from her gel eyeliners, and I mean like I really like them, are the Hot Fudge color, which is the, just a really dark brown, and then just the black. And only in the tubes. When they're in the pots, they're like really, really liquid, and then they get really hard and they're not useful. But so unfortunately, I'm getting rid of these. Um, I'm getting rid of some Jessie's Girl pigments. A notable one would be this eye dust. And, like, they didn't have colors, and the pigmentation really wasn't fabulous, which is really frustrating with loose eyeshadows. Like, it's just like, why aren't you shadowing? I'm so frustrated. Um, I'm getting rid of my beauty rush lip glosses I have a couple of these this one's strawberry fizz um, I had my girlfriend look through this bag and she decided there was nothing she really wanted this is the one of the first lip lip glosses I owned when I started getting into makeup but clearly I haven't used it at all and it's gonna kind of icky that's so going away um, I'm getting rid of a couple of, of a few drugstore eyeliners that I never use these ones are from all May who I believe I think they test on animals now um, and it was just their brown one and their and their turquoise ones I have a New brown liner from Urban Decay, so I didn't need that. And I have a green turquoise liner from NYX that I use all the time, so I didn't need that. Um, but basically, I don't really want dupes of things that I already use. Um, so I'm getting rid of this bronzer from Lauren Brooks Cosmetics that I got in a um, Eco, -Emmy, Eco Emmy box. It's just really not... Um, it's really messy, and, you know, my my Hula bronzer is my holy grail. I am currently keeping my Bare Minerals warmth, but we'll see. I'm going to try to start using that more. Um, I think it's probably just a better bronzer for me in the summer, but I'm just kind of mm, iffy about it. One more, like, this This was like a dollar, I think, and it was Warpay Beauty Li Liquid Eyeliner in Electro Blue. And it burned my eyes. Like, I was like, this stuff is so crappy and so cheap. But it is really pigmented. And the brush is like this weird little sponge tip. And it looks like that. So it's beautiful. And I did wear it a few times, but just not worth it, like, at all. So, um, yeah, I'm sure. Plus, since I have my Cryolon Aqua colors, I can do... That's the other thing, is I, I have so many of those that I can kind of make line, liners out of those. And, yeah, so that is pretty much everything that is in, is interesting from the getting rid of bag. Um, I'm very excited to pass, pass things on to people who will love them and to throw things out that don't need to be in the world anymore. Um, and so in terms of my, like, Make Out 2013 Project Pan thing, so I know I'm, like, late to the whole Make Out 2013 thing because it was kind of a New Year's resolution thing. Um, but I'm actually doing, um, because this was a spring cleaning, I'm doing Make Out Spring. Um, and basically, for me, what that, what that time frame looks like is from, um, from right now to the end of spring quarter at school. So on my first day of summer break, then the Make Out Spring will be over and I can reevaluate my rules and all of that. So that's kind of my time frame because I'm just kind of experimenting with this. Um, and so the idea is I am putting a spending cap on, like, I don't want, I don't need, I don't really need any more new clothes, nail polish, um, makeup, or fragrance, um, fra and fragrance is, like, personal and, um, home fragrance. I have a lot of candles and incense that I really need to use up. Um, so, and my exceptions to, to that are, um... Like, I, I'm subscribed to the All Natural Faces Beauty Box, and I subscribed to that, like, early March, so I should be getting the April one. I already paid for it, so I'm going to just allow myself to say to stay subscribed to that because there were so many new shadows and lipsticks that I wanted from the All Natural Face. Um, and so, and I was just like, oh my god, I could buy, st I could give them all my money. So that is my compromise, is that... I will continue. Oh, I will allow myself to stay subscribed to that box and see if I get any of the products that I'm sort of looking for. Um, like they have all these new purple lipsticks, which are beautiful, and I'm really excited about. The other exception is that a Sephora is opening up downtown, so that's like even closer to me. 
Um, and one of my best friends is going to be working there. So I'm going to allow myself to buy like one item at the Sephora opening. And I'm sort of playing in my head with what that's going to be because yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it might be the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. I'm kind of really digging that like nudie blush thing. Um, anyway, so in my only um, clothing item exception is I've been thinking about getting Doc Martens for a little over a month, uh, probably close to two months now. Um, and I have money and I have enough money to do it. So, um, and I went and tried them on. So I think I am going to let myself buy those. Um, but that is it for clothes. And it's frustrating though, because those are so expensive. So those, that, that's worth like five bags from Goodwill and Value Village. So it's hard for me to do it, but I really, really want them and they're waterproof and they're great great boots and they're so cute I'm getting like floral print ones um and so yeah the basic idea is that like I just want to use up stuff that I have and especially like with like with my closet my drawers in my closet are already kind of overflowing they cannot grow any more than they are right now like they just like I just don't have the physical space and me and my girlfriend are thinking of moving to a bigger apartment in the summertime but until then I have to accept the amount of clothing I have, which is a ton, and work with it. Um, so that's going to be, it's already hard, but I'm happy to do that because I know, like with clothing, especially with thrifting, I'll just buy, 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 and then I'll be like, oh my god, I have all this stuff that I bought so impulsively. This is awful. Um, so, and then with my makeup collection, the, I mean, really, the goal is kind of like, I just don't really want to outgrow... I don't want my collection to outgrow my vanity, really. Um, like, I feel like if if I don't stop now, like, because I know I experience, like, spending frenzy and shopping frenzy, that if I don't, like, kind of nip that in the bud and start, like, you know, making con more, more conscious and less impulsive choices about what I'm buying in terms of my makeup, that my collection would just get bigger and bigger and bigger, and that's pointless. I want to... I like the kind of size it is now, like, and it's fine if in the few if in the future I filled up some more of the drawers that don't have makeup in them, that'd probably be okay. But I just don't want it to outgrow my vanity. I don't want to have a ton of stuff that I never use. Like that seems to me to be kind of pointless. Um, some so now onto uh, Project Pan that I'm kind of doing with that because I saw that I love Taboo kind of did them together and I was like that's kind of how how I want to how I want to do it too. So that's the same. It's starting now. Goes to the end of spring quarter, which I think is like the third week in June is when it ends. Um, and the goal is basically as many things as I possibly can um, that I want to use up. So I don't have like a number goal, just kind of like as many as I can get through. Um, and with and specifically I want to use up non cruelty free and non natural products so like I bought a I bought the philosophy purity cleanser recently which is cruelty free but I think it might be breaking on my skin just a little bit but my skin takes a while to get used to things and I realized it actually does have quite a few like kind of icky ingredients in it so that was kind of meh and then um, I have a Clinique toner that I'm trying to go through and I'm going through pretty quickly so um, then I will definitely like get rid of that um, and I have a couple of face masks as well that are definitely not all natural um, really uh, there's they like they have pair like parabens and stuff in them which I don't really want um, and so the idea with that is that I want to use up as many things as I can because I want to switch to doing a like de a more like do-it-yourself natural skincare routine like I saw a lot of Pink So Foxy's like all natural DIY videos and I saw that I Love Taboo was like making her own stuff and I was like that sounds like something I would totally do and my mom today just happened to give me like eight or nine different essential oils that she had that she wasn't using so I'm like so I really really want to start making my own um, face care, skin care and fragrance stuff um, so that I'm not you know putting my money where it doesn't need to go I can just kind of buy these host of ingredients and like make my own stuff and then my I, I know my skin will be doing a lot better um, so that's kind of the idea with all of that um, the other thing the only part of my collection that I'm kind of almost ashamed about would probably be um, my nail polishes <laughs> There's like, I have a polish station over there, polish station. It's like, it's just a nail polish rack. And so 
Oh my god, there's just so many. I kept buying polishes in like batches of like six because they'd be on sale. And I'm sure there's plenty of, uh, plenty of colors that I don't think I've used like even once. And that really depresses me. So that's something, that's another thing that I want to do is start using up my nail polishes and doing my nails more often and just getting my nails more healthy and long and pretty. I like pretty nails and I don't have them right now and it's bothering me. Um... So yeah, I really, really want to use up my nail polishes, and I think the next video I do, I think I might do an inventory video on, um, you know, how many of various makeup and nail polish kind of things that I have. I'm not going to do that with clothes, just because that'd be kind of exhausting, and you can't, like, use up clothing, really, not in the same fashion. Um, but so... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this journey. I just overall, I'm really wanting to get a little bit healthier because I've had family members that have been having so many health issues. It just makes me feel like I really, really need to start taking the best care of myself when I'm young. So I'm going to be investing in more all like all natural food and all natural skincare. Um, I'm gonna start doing yoga and stuff like that again. And um, yeah, I look forward um, to having empties videos to share with all of you. I've been working on a bag for a while. And yeah, if any of you are doing something similar, like any kind of spending cap makeup tw makeup 2013 kind of stuff, then you should totally talk to me about it in the comments below or send me a video response. I will totally watch them. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a really wonderful night. Bye. She's like, I am in love with this post. Oh my god, I have to find a way to get this into the video. Ticker! Twitchy cat. Yeah, look at her crawl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay.